electromyogram or myograph which will be used for recording the electrical activities of muscles okay electrical activities of muscles here we are going to study the neuromuscular function that means the so below the muscle you will be having nerves okay so that nerve functionality will be uh, studied by using electromyograph okay so uh, it is used to study neuromuscular function extent of nerve lesion so nerve lesion is nothing but uh, if you have any uh, wound in the nerves that can be studied by the electromyograph and then reflex response so if you are injecting any uh, chemicals to the body then what will be the reaction in the uh, body that is in the uh, blood which will be flowing in the nerves okay that will be called as reflex response and then diagnosing the muscular disease if you have any disease muscular disease this, that is um, allergy okay if you are eating any unwanted foods or uh, taking unwanted medicines anything else okay if you are giving to the body then it will be reacted in the body and uh, it will be explored as a uh, allergy okay Uh, to you that will be diagnosed uh, frequently in your body so for all this treatment you will be using electromyograph okay so recording of peripheral nerve action potential that is electroneurography so other than the uh, nervous system that is uh, uh, heart system brain system other than that you will be having uh, nerves okay that nerves uh, recording uh bio signal will be done by the electromyograph okay other than the main parts nerves will be measured here the emg is recorded using surface electrode and needle electrodes okay so emg can you emg going to use surface type of electrode and needle type of electrode so surface electrode pick up the potential produced by contracting muscle fiber it will be surface electrode is used to uh, used in the contracting muscles okay uh, for uh, pick up in the bio signal then surface of the skin will be cleaned and the electrode paste is applied Why, how you will be uh, keeping the electrode surface electrode on the skin means after cleaning and uh, pasting okay then only will place the electrodes on the surface of the skin then uh, needle electrodes this is surface electrode the next one is needle electrode uh, needle electrode will be inserted inside into the tissue okay see surface electro electrode will be placed above the surface of the skin okay but needle electrode will be used for inserting it will be penetrated uh, penetrated into the tissue okay to study the electrical activity that is to get the bio signal of the muscles it will be penetrated so this is the emg recording system so here you are placing two electrodes one will be acting as a acting uh, uh, electrode and another one will be a reference electrode which will be given to the different cell amplifier the bio signal which is collected from the uh, skin surface or muscle will be um converted into uh, electrical energy by the electrode which is present in transducer and then it will it will be given to the different cell amplifier where it will be having pre amplifier uh, that uh, and different amplifier so pre amplifier will boost up or uh, uh, will uh, remove the unwanted signals that is noise signal and then different amplifier will boost up the bio signal there is a bio signal which is converted into electrical signal and then it will be uh, given to the or uh, saved in the tape recorder or storage oscilloscope for display okay displaying the recorded value or it may given to the speaker also after giving to the power amplifier because uh, if you want to give the signal to the speaker then it has to be uh increased um, amplitude okay so that you will be giving the uh, voltage of different cell amplifier to the power amplifier for further amplification okay this is the emg recording system
uh, here, uh, same point will be given here the electrodes will record the EMG potential from the tissue then disc shaped surface electrode made of arginium chloride and arginium are used to pick up the signal okay here we are going to use surface electrode which will be in the shape of disc that's why it can be able to add, uh, attach easily with your skin okay so this uh, skin surface must be cleaned and the electrode gel will be applied uh, before keeping the uh, electrode on the skin okay then elastic band also can be used for attaching the electrode on the skin so if you use the electric uh, elastic band then uh, you will be uh, fixing uh, tightly to the skin okay electrodes will be fixed tightly to the skin which will uh, avoid the contact skin contact impedance okay 10 kilo ohm will not be produced if you are using the uh, elastic band then next the amplitude of emg signal depends on various factor so the bio signal which is you are taking from the muscles uh, will have some factors various factor that is uh, what type of electrode you are using either surface electrode or needle electrode based on that your amplitude value will differ then placement of electrode on the muscles so where you are placing in the human body okay in uh, hand or a leg so what uh, type of part you are placing the electrode on the muscles okay that will be determined for uh, amplitude of e emg signal and then degree of muscular exertion so how much uh, distance you are uh, pressing that muscles to keep the uh, electrode in the body okay that will be a factor and then when surface electrodes are used it picks signals from nearby spike so uh, if you are using surface electrode what will be happen uh, while you are pressing the surface electrode or you are keeping the surface electrode so somewhere else uh, in the uh, skin you will be having uh, deep spike okay there uh, it is possible to take um, voltage from that spike okay so it will not produce the exact value uh, of the muscle as a result okay so to avoid that you will be preferring needle electrodes for pick up the signal from the single nerve okay so needle signal now it will be penetrated into the tissue so it will be penetrated into the single nerve okay so single nerve voltage will be picked up by using the needle electrode okay but surface electrode will have some spike voltage then the voltage value of emg signal varies between 0.1 to 0.5 millivolt the frequency of the emg signal will be in the range of 20 hertz to 30 hertz which is uh, the range of audio signal so the normal frequency of emg is 60 hertz uh, the differential amplifier has high gain and a frequency range between 10 hertz to 10 kilohertz the amplified output will be uh, given to the power amplifier which helps the uh, helps to amplify the signal to a higher level so the amplified signal is given to the loudspeaker cro tape recorder okay so that uh, emg recording system block other than explain panikanga none other than that so how the differential amplifier will produce the output that is amplification done then after doing the amplification it will be given to the uh, loudspeaker tape recorder and cro for display and storage okay recording applications of emg so for studying the neuromuscular function how it is reacting neuromuscular nerves with the uh, muscles okay although the functionality can be studied uh, by using the emg and then neuromuscular conditions so neuromuscular conditions is nothing but while you are taking the new medicines how your uh, body reacting will be checked only by the muscles and skin okay 
so if you have any allergy to the new medicine then it will be shown only through the skin okay you will be getting pimples or uh, itching likewise okay that is known as neuromuscular condition to study reflex uh, responses same thing okay so enna input kudukoma output ka enna react pandrathu that will be checked through the emg to know about the extent of nerve lesion nerve lesion means wound any wound in the nerves will be cured using the emg okay and also help to diagnose the muscular disease so you can diagnose for diagnosing purpose of muscular any uh, type of muscular disease can be diagnosed by using emg result okay this is the measurement of conduction velocity in motor nerves what is motor nerves the biology student will know what is motor nerves so nothing but uh, the nerve which is uh, arising from uh, that is spinal cord to the all parts of the body will be called as motor nerves okay uh, central nervous system that is spinal cord okay spinal cord uh, will play an central nervous system from the central nervous system uh, you will be having many branches of nerves to all the parts of the body that will be said to uh, as uh, motor nerves okay so the motor nerves uh, is stimulated and measured here in the hand okay uh, see the placement of electrode in two picture so one in one picture the electrodes are placed in distance high distance large distance now but uh, in another picture very close to each other two electrodes are very close to each other look at the waveform that is myograph for the both the pictures so here you are getting standard output and then uh, it is varying but here you are getting very little standard output in the second diagram okay this is the difference of these two placement of electrodes in high distance and low distance then measurement of conduction velocity in motor nerves uh, it will be uh, based on the location and type of nerve lesion okay the conduction velocity will be measured so nerve lesion is nothing but nerve wound wound in the nerve okay based on that applications we are going to use the conduction velocity okay uh, usually the electric shock of uh, duration 0.2 0.5 millisecond is stimulated on the nerve then conduction velocity along the peripheral nerve is measured to calculate the latency so latency is nothing but difference in time between the stimulating impulse and action potential of the muscle so the time taken for the uh, uh, input that is impulse uh, in, uh, triggering input given to the muscle and then uh, the bio signal taken from the muscle that will be uh, the latency the time taken for both these actions will be said to be uh, latency one minute
so the conduction velocity based on the location of the electrode placed in the surface of the human body as well as um, uh, that uh, nerve uh, wound okay what type of nerves uh, wound you are occurring based on that the conduction velocity will be given so the conduction velocity can be calculated based on this formula v equal to l1 minus l2 by t1 minus t2 latency and time so normally the value of conduction velocity will be 50 millisecond sorry 50 m m stands for what per second what is m so velocity speed da appa millisecond da chaliya yeah. phono cardiogram next is phono cardiogram This is 50 meter per second. Okay, 50 meter per second. Millisecond kariya the meter per second. Then phonocardiogram. So phonocardiogram uh, is used for recording the heart sound. Okay, lap, dap, lap, dap. That sound will be recorded using phonocardiogram. So uh, the device will be called as a phonocardiograph. Then uh, it is used for auscultation of uh, organ and vessels there is nothing but sound created from the organs and vessels okay uh, and then sound vibration set up in blood inside the heart and sudden closure of valves that is nothing but heart sound so heart sound how you are getting lapped up lapped up sound uh, it is nothing but uh, the uh, filled air blood sorry filled blood uh, in the um, articles and ventricles will be released okay filling and releasing that will be hearing as a lapped up sound okay phonocardiography okay phonocardiography is the recording of heart sound so the heart like any mechanical pump produces characteristic uh, sound as it beat okay so how heartbeat is uh, compared with your mechanical pump for its characteristics okay so these are the sound the physician here with your stethoscope you you may also hear the heart sound through the stethoscope okay that's why doctor is having stethoscope to hear the sound of your heartbeat then uh, certain heart uh, murmurs uh, produce sound in the thousand hertz range so heartbeat range will be uh, in the range of 1000 hertz and some frequency component will be down to 4, four or 5 hertz that time you will be having the 1000 hertz so normal heartbeat will be in the range of 4 or 5 the next classification of heart sound so here the valve closes sound uh, that is valve closer sound is nothing but valves which will be present uh, in between the arteries and ventricles okay so systole and diastole i think you all know biology student will know what is systole and diastole systole means uh, contraction contraction and uh, empty space that is contraction okay empty space of arteries and ventricle like a empty balloon okay that is systole uh, diastole means your uh, heart began begin to fill it with the blood okay that is expansion okay contraction expansion okay that is diastole expansion of the diastole that is a air filled balloon it will be looking like air filled balloon air filled balloon then empty air filled balloon empty that is compared with your uh, blood filled uh, arteries and ventricles and bl blood released empty space of arteries and um, ventricles okay so during that uh, action what will be happen to the valves it will be closing opening closing opening that may hear as a loud up sound that is heart sound okay then ventricular filling sound valve opening sound extra the same point will come 
for all this okay filling sound opening sound closer sound everything will come under the heartbeat okay extra cardiac sound mid systole or late systole or ear early diastole so all these four points come under that heartbeat sound only okay these are the types of heartbeat sound valve close ana valve open ana ventricular fill ana la cardiac sound extra cardiac sound is systole uh, mid systole early diastole late systole in the madri idukku sound minute you will be hearing okay then first heart sound the first heart sound will be generated at the end of atrial contraction just as the at the onset of ventricular contraction okay atrial contraction after uh, will be happen only on the ventricular contraction okay uh, after atrial contraction ventricular contraction will happen continuously okay so that sound will be heard as a first heart sound uh this uh, sound is generally attributed to movement of blood into the ventricles atrioventricular valves will be closing okay and abrupt cessation of uh, blood flow in the atria okay so atrium to ventricular uh, what will happen the blood will be moved from atrium to ventricle during that period your atrioventricular valve in between which is present in between the atrium and ventricular will be closing and opening that will be heard as a first heart sound the second heart sound will be correspond to the closing of the aortic and pulmonary valves that is starting okay initiation of the uh, initiation pulse of the heart beat that valve uh, that starting point will be called as a pulmonary valve or aortic valve then third heart sound will be correspond to the cessation of ventricular filling okay filling the blood with the ventricular part then fourth heart sound is correlated to the atrial contraction so atrial contraction means emptying the uh, atrium okay so this last sound has a very low amplitude and a low frequency component fourth heart sound will have low frequency and amplitude this is pcg recording system so here you will be using uh, ecg electrode as well as condenser microphone for uh, uh, hearing the sound from the parts of the body okay so ecg electrode uh, will be used for uh used on the surface of the body then condenser mi uh, microphone so what is the usage of condenser microphone it can able to convert the sound energy into electrical energy okay so the sound which is heard from your uh, from the parts of the body can be easily converted into the electrical energy and then given to amplifier for amplification to boost up in the signal and then given to filter to avoid the noise unwanted signal Uh, and then it will be produced in the output unit similarly like ecg electrode will measure the bio signal from the heart and then it will be given to the amplifier and then it will be recorded by the tape okay that's all so in this two uh, types of method you can measure the pcg value that is pcg graph see the different waveforms uh, given for pcg a uh, normal waveform aortic stenosis mitral regurgitation uh, mitral stenosis okay for diastole systole diastole systole there is nothing but closing opening closing opening of your valves heart valves okay pulmonary valves artery muscular valves apra vera en irukku atrioventricular valves so idella opening and closing up what sound what type of sound produced that will be displayed in this waveform 